Hi, my name's Kiri. I'm 25 years of age. And my girlfriend cheated on me. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I loved her. And she went with another man. She got fucked. Like that. By another man. And I invested so much time and energy into her. I loved her. That's just what some guy is probably going to experience in the next week or two when I fuck his girl. <laughs> Listen, come a bit closer. You know me by now. I'm a sensitive so I'm a caring so I don't engage in any of this shit unless the girl is proper down. And this girl that I'm speaking to, <laughs> that was a good intro, isn't it? <laughs> this girl that I'm speaking to you, is in an 11 year relationship. We're not gonna, gonna go into specifics. She's very smoking hot. She has a big bum, she looks sexy, and she wants to come and she, come and she wants to fuck. I haven't said anything. I said, you know, I respect you, whatever, cool. I think she said they're in an open, open relationship. I don't know what's going on. But I think they can message other people, but they can't fuck or whatever. But that's all I basically know, so. Yay! So many guys invest money, resources, energy, love. They give everything to a girl. They even put a ring. Simps like, Will you marry me, darling? <laughs> <laughs> and in the end, so many of them get left with zero. They lose the kids. They lose the house. They, they lose their hair and they lose themselves in the process. They lose everything because they pick the wrong woman to be committed to. Let's look at the facts and come a bit closer. Editors, maybe we can find a screenshot or something there, but from my research, I think divorce rates are around 45, 47, around 50%, which means one out of two people that marry will get divorced. That's me or you. Fucked, right? <laughs> if someone gave you those odds of your survival, you would not take them. And that's what so many guys are doing. They're not taking marriage or they're not taking commitment. It's the lowest rates ever in history for these things where it's like sex or marriage or getting late, getting married the latest. And it's because it's very, very risky for a man, especially if you're a high value man or somebody of substance is very risky because as you know, if you divorce, unless you've got a prenup, what they call, you get half your stuff. So you can lose half of every single thing you've ever worked for. So many guys are giving everything to a girl and she's going and getting fucked by someone else. I've said this story many times, but there's one girl is speaking to you. I can see her face in my fuck this bitch. <laughs> she wasn't that nice, but she, she I saw her her boyfriend and he's a good guy. He's a good, like soft, respectful, friendly type guy. Like he just the typical fits the bill. You understand? And I, I spoke to her and I said, Why why do you do what you do? Like why you want me to fuck you? We didn't end up meeting, she was all talk, but she's like, Why why do you want me to fuck you, baby? And you know what she said? <laughs> Come a bit closer. She said he gives her everything apart from sexual satisfaction. It's very important to please your girl, not just mentally and all these other areas, but especially physically with her needs. I know women will never put it out there so much, oh, make me come and do all of this and whatever. I know it's more like a guy thing and they're more reserved, but they have like needs and drives too, right? Especially when they're like roasting, isn't it? Like fucking like on their horny, uh, horny part of their month, you know? And this girl, the girl dating the guy for 11 years, she sends me something on Snap. We're not going to put it here because man's going to get his whole channel deleted. <laughs> 
but it was i want you to just imagine a sexy girl with a big bum bent over naked completely <laughs> with like thing out as well yeah and also i look at that i'm like oh wow vagina so so nice like i don't know it doesn't there's nothing really for me to um gas up about that like it just i don't know you look good well done I'm, i've never seen that before <laughs> If you wanna date all these girls today and get all of this for free or join my school, link in the description below. But of course, again, I get speaking to her and it's the same thing over and over. I don't know their situation as a whole, but I think her man's a bit of a bitch. I'm not gonna say specifics, but he does something which is a bit nerdy, basically. And I'm just thinking, this, is this who I'm thinking? Is this this white dork with glasses in in my in my in my head and it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over with the majority not all but the majority of girls they crave this like masculine like drive this dominance this i'm gonna look at me when i'm talking to you this type of fucking shit this do i dare say bad boy because it's what gets them excited it gets their emotions up and down up and down, up and down. The best sex for girls is defined as the following. She shouldn't know if she's going to get killed or like strangled at the same time as she's going to get loved. Like she doesn't know what's going to happen next. It's exciting for her. And any girls watching this know what I'm saying. If they're being truthfully honest, which a lot of them don't. I like a nice guy. Yeah, sure you do. This girl is a very high quality girl, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously she's sending like news or whatever, but she's only been with one person. Um, that's the most we'll say. And you know, she's just direct and straightforward as fuck. And she's like, yeah, you know, we're probably gonna maybe FaceTime Monday. I'll keep you posted with what happens. But you know, she just wants like, she's just impressed with my demeanor and my energy and my masculine urge. And she just wants a part of it, you know? And it's your job as a man to always make sure that you're becoming the best because as we know, women always date up. Editors, we can put that graph. They are hypergamous and they want the best and they look to a man's future. So if you keep on becoming the best, they're more likely to stick around. But again, you have to remember, you can't control her. You can only influence her and you can influence her if you're ever scared of her leaving or you've been cheated on or whatever in the past. <clears throat> Apologies, you can only do that by becoming your best because if you're becoming the best and you're learning fucking sex tips and everything and you've got that little esque about you, that little bad boy masculine esque and you're learning about dominance assertive and you become established, well round fucking man, guess what, bro? She's not going anywhere else apart from sitting right on your dick. How to never lose a woman, how to keep her by her side, how to get her to be loyal. You can't control her, but you can become your best. And if you are always becoming your best and you try your best every day to improve the product in front of you, guess what? She's not going anywhere. I'm gonna, I, I'm praying in a week's time I come back and I tell you I drew that girl shit because fuck me. Oh, the thought of me, like her dating someone else and me fucking her is hot, bro. I was getting hard. Oh my God, that's the end of it. <laughs>